Hi guys, Pepper Pam. I am going to be making my warming uh, ginger cayenne salve today. Um, we're going to use the ginger root, going to use cayenne pepper, turmeric. I'm using coconut oil as my uh, carrier oil, my own beeswax that I cleaned and filtered myself. So, and I'm going to be using the um, stovetop method, the double boiler method. So let me get this, let's see. So it's gonna, you're gonna use one cup of cario oil, which is the, um, I'm using coconut oil. You can even use olive oil. So let me get this started and put in the pan here. Okay. Coconut oil. Then I'm going to, so you're only going to put in the double boiler the uh, carrier oil and the spices. You're not going to add the beeswax until the end. So um, I'm going to be doing one tablespoon. Aren't these the cutest? I have a, a teaspoon collection. <laughs> so one teaspoon of cayenne pepper. I mean one tablespoon, I'm sorry. One tablespoon. Let me fix this. Okay. So one tablespoon of cayenne. One tablespoon of ginger root powder. One tablespoon of turmeric. And then you're going to put this over a double boiler. And you're going to let it go for about a half hour, 30 minutes to 40 minutes, about a half hour or so. Okay, so I have everything in the pan. I'm going to put it over the double boiler. Um, you can let this go up to an hour. The lower and the slower, it brings out more of the wonderful medicinals in the spices. So I'm going to let this sit here and I'm going to let it melt. And we'll be back. Okay, so this has been going about 45 minutes. See that? That's the part you're going to want to get out in the cheesecloth. I don't have a cheesecloth, but what I do use is a um, white cotton flour sack. You put this down. clips on here to hold it. Turn the flame off. Then you're going to rinse this pan out because this is the pan that you're going to now put it back on the stove and you're going to put the um, beeswax in it.
Okay, so let me see here. So this is dripping. This is dripping pretty well. So I'm gonna just squeeze this out carefully. Okay. Sorry about that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so I got it all out. Sorry about the camera falling over. So all the spices are inside this. Now you also can make a second batch with these same spices if you want to. <clears throat> Set that over there. See how clear that is now? So now I'm going to be adding... Actually, I didn't need to clean that pan out. I used another one. Oh, I wasn't thinking. Okay, so this is going to go on the stove in the double boiler and add the quarter cup of beeswax. Now you don't have to add the beeswax. You can just keep this in a jar and decide what you want to do with it later. It's all right, it's fine. You don't, you know, you're just adding the beeswax to make your balm. Your hand, you know, your, your, uh, <clears throat> your salve. Okay, so after you've got it all out, you just put the, um, you don't have to put the beeswax in um, if you don't want to. Just keep it as massage oil if you want to. If, um, it works very good as a on-the-spot treatment, and you can even put it in a roll-on. So then in the double boiler, you're going to put the beeswax and the infused oil, and you're going to let it melt. And you can even add essential oils uh, to it, but then after it melts, then you're going to be putting it in your jars. So, be right back. Okay, so I wanted to show you what the spices look like. I guess I did squeeze all the water out. See how powdery it is? That's what you're going to straight yeah, wring out of the cheesecloth or your um, rag or whatever you use. All the beeswax is melted. I brought an extra jar out just in case. Now this doesn't have to be at the, you can fill it to the top or pretty close to the top if you want. Perfect. Okay. That's it. So this is my ginger cayenne salve. You use this when you have aches and pains. Um, let me tell you the recipe again really quick. Actually, let me show it to you. Oh, you can't see that. I'll hold it up here. That's all you need right there. You first have to make the infusion. And that's the part where I use the coconut oil. And I did the double boiler method. So if you didn't get all this, I'm going to also put it in the comment section of the video. So all you do, I don't need that now. You just let it cool. It's going to harden. You'll just be able to dig it out and rub it on your hands. If you, if you have arthritis, if you have a pulled muscle, anything like that. So I'm going to let it cool before I put the lid on. And we will be back when it's hardened. Okay, there it is. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And the reason I put them in the matching size jars, I'm taking these to the fair. So uh, I'll be looking for a blue ribbon on this one. So when you go to use it, say you strained your knee, you have a backache, you have arthritis in your hands, you're just going to, you know, get some out 
and you're going to put it on your hand just like you would your regular lotion. Make sure you label your jar, date it, and put what it is. And these make awesome Christmas gifts or, you know, get well gifts, anything like that. People that you know in your life that have arthritis or, you know, aches and pains, this is perfect for them. So I'm going to put the recipe in the comment section. You can also Google um, the cayenne salve. There's different uh, variations of it. Uh, you can also add essential oil with this. I don't do that. I just let the cayenne and the turmeric um, and the uh, ginger do what they're supposed to do. So anyway, got any questions, put them in the comments. Prep, prep, them out. Have a cool day.